Hello everyone, welcome back to Touch the Fire Twice. I'm Joshua and I'm here today to do an in-depth sniff and comparison review of the Homeworks by Slacken & Co. Kiwi Margarita Candle recently relaunched. This is the Homeworks traditional 18 ounce heavy glass jar, the silver chrome lid, um, their traditional four wick candles with a really great, look at that vibrant kind of neon yellow wax, love that. Um, so the Kiwi Margarita here, I'm actually very excited to talk about this one. So this um, showed up kind of randomly on QVC uh, in the past week or two, uh, late January, early February. And this candle actually was, I was excited to see it come back because it was first launched in, I believe the original spring or, you know, early 20, early 2018 collection, the first year um, that we saw a spring collection from Homeworks by Harry Slacken. And um, it was, you know, it looks similar to this, but they actually have done a redesign um, in some of their returning scents just over the past couple of weeks, which I really appreciate. So um, Garden Bloom and Lotus Flower and Nakia Margarita. Um, same scent, no major changes to the fragrance um, or the design overall to the label, but they've really just kind of elevated, kind of intensified the traditional wraparound um, color photography artwork they use, where it's just a little bit tweaked and it's a little bit more vibrant colorful, intense, saturated. Um, and I like that they're just making those small tweaks. They don't, they didn't have to, but just small things that are really elevating it to, to make it just even more impactful um, and and I think intriguing and eye-catching. So I appreciate that they're doing that with some of the 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 scents. They could clearly just bring them back, but they are, again, kind of elevating them as they go, go through the seasons. So Q Margarita, I really was a fan of this one when it first came out in 2018 in the three wick, the original three wicks. Um, and I'm not sure that it came back at all since then until now i could be wrong um but i burned through the duo that i had and they were gone and boy it is such a nice scent um for those who aren't familiar with, with my channel sort of the way i do things so the in-depth sniff and comparison review that means it's an in-depth review so <laughs> sit down and relax um the sniff meaning i do my first sort of impressions um on the the scent of the candle and then comparison i compare it to other similar um candles same, you know, from whether it be Homeworks or from Bath & Body Works or other candle brands to say, okay, how is it similar to this? How is it different than this? Is it a straight up repackage or an elevated version of something? Um, and this one does, in my mind, just spoiler here, it does stand on its own, stand on its own as its own scent. Um, but there are similarities to some other scents, both from Bath & Body Works. Um, and then I was comparing it to one as well from Homeworks. Um, but I will say I burned this, one of these already, really great performance on it, got a nice, healthy deep, not overly deep, but a healthy wax pool uh, within probably an hour or less. Um, got, you know, that sort of half inch to an inch deep pool, really great throw, good performance, um, was happy with it. It's a fairly strong, I'd say a good seven out of 10 um, intensity and the throw was solid as well. Um, it wasn't one of those where it lingers and it goes throughout the entire house, um, but it was really a healthy performer with really good scent, kind of right where you want something like this to be. So happy with that. When it comes to margarita, um, kiwi margarita, it's interesting. So when this first launched again in 2018, um, Homeworks used to actually create infographics that at the time were on the QVC website as the the pretty much only launch, or at least launch partner of Homeworks, um, where they list the top, middle, and bottom notes. I will say the notes on the bottom of the candle um, still match what it was a few years ago. Um, we no longer get the top, middle, bottom notes, that full list of notes like we used to, um, but the bottom notes were the only notes not listed on the original candle, um, and those were in addition to what we have here. Um, well, I'll redo those ones, then I'll show you the bottom notes. So notes listed here, kiwi, chilled melon, Caribbean lemon, crushed mint, and sparkling sugar water. So pretty straightforward for what you expect um, for you know a traditional margarita to be, although adding in a couple of other things uh, to really elevate it and make it unique besides just, you know, what's a margarita? Margarita is gonna be lime juice, sugar of some sort, either sugar or simple syrup or agave nectar. Um, you've got sometimes salt, you've got your tequila, and then usually an orange liqueur, maybe a Cointreau or a triple sec of some sort. Um, and anything else is kind of add-ons, but you, need to, you kind of need to have lime for it to be your traditional margarita. You can throw anything else you want on top of it uh, for additional layers of flavor, which they have done here. Um, the notes not listed that were the original bottom notes that I believe are probably still in here because the, the scent does not seem changed to me um, were eucalyptus, leafy greens, and fruity musk. So some interesting things there that I can understand why they took those out because if people are reading that, like, I don't want eucalyptus in my margarita candle. It's back there. You actually do. <laughs> you just don't know that you want it because it's not going to be a major, major player. And they're just going to be lingering there in the background to add complexity, which of course we know uh, any candle from Slack & Co is going to be very complex, a uh, complex version of a straightforward thing like a cube margarita. Um, 
so sniffing this, oh, it's super sweet, but not, not, you know, not overly sweet, not cloying. Very citrusy, bright. You've got these little pops. This is one of those scents where when you sniff it, you really do go through and get the different notes throughout time, and certainly when it's burning. It goes back and forth between some lime and some lemon. Really zesty and strong, but not cleaner at all, because uh, it's sweet enough. It's very sparkling, like I think they say here, um, at least in one of the notes was like, kind of like a sparkling lemon or sparkling lime. Um, you've got a healthy, amount of the sparkling sugar water so that crunchy sugar and a little bit of bubbles to it you know they've got a lot of effervescence on the label i'd say it's not particularly a bubbly drink but it has hints of that sort of the bubbly note that you get in some great lemon lime uh you know beverage candles and there's a depth to it where you I mean you, it actually has a bit of greens almost lean toward like some like the certainly a bit of the crushed sweet spearmint um freshly crushed and maybe a little bit of um almost like a lemon verbena. So when they say leafy greens, I mean, I don't, they're not throwing in, you know, romaine lettuce, <laughs> but um, some sort of greens in the background there to, to just add another layer to it, which again, in my mind, it could be like a, a like something herbal. It could be like a lemon verbena or something like that, but not to your lemon mint leaves or anything that's overly spa-like or herba, overly, or, overly herbaceous. It just, it's delicious. It's so nice. It is tropical, it's free, but it's so fresh and bright and clean that it kind of works for, for late winter, early spring when you want to start burning some some sweeter, brighter, fresh scents. Ah, oh, I just keep sniffing it. It's so, so, so nice. The the additional things in here, the kiwi, the chilled melon. Um, kiwi, to me, doesn't have that strong of a scent. It has a flavor, but it's just like a green, you know, mushy fruit. Not my favorite. It's used a lot in like strawberry kiwi, like in the 1990s, you know, your snapples, everything that was kiwi, strawberry, kiwi, strawberry. It adds certainly like a bit of like a a green, you know, sweetness that's not, you know, as tropical sweet as some things, but just like a, I don't know, just like a a balance to, to something, you know, sweet and, and slightly tropical, but, but very green and very fresh, leaning fresh, because it's not super, super sugary sweet typically. And the melon is interesting. I do, there's almost a mild creaminess to this, which melon sometimes will bring, certainly when you think of like, I imagine this would be cantaloupe, not definitely not watermelon, I don't think honeydew, but some sort of like either, um, you know, there are many different kinds of melons that outside of America are, are very popular. Um, could be something, some other melon, um, but I think quite possibly something like in the cantaloupe family where it's just a little bit there, just makes it a little tiny bit creamy, but still adds a layer of sweetness. Oh, it's just a really, I love this candle. The more I'm sipping it, um, this for me is probably a go-to when it comes to sort of the margarita scents. So of course then we wanna compare, wanna compare it to a couple things. First, I'm actually gonna compare it to, similar in notes, Homeworks by Slack & Co. Citrus Mojito. Uh, the notes, the, there's only four notes listed here and they're pomelo, so like a grapefruit, kumquat, tangerine, and mint. Um, they're not listing a lot of the typical ingredients of mojito, so they're not listing rum. It's not super, super sweet. It's got, I, I can see these notes in here, but I wouldn't call it a mojito. It's very, very light. If the kiwi margarita is like a seven or eight in intensity, this is like a three at best, like maybe a four. More of a layering scent. Um, I'd love to see this stronger. It's a little bit more, I don't think it is as complex, even though it's hard to kind of get a lot in this compared to say the Q Margarita, it has a lot going on. Um, I don't think this is quite as complex and certainly not as intense. Um, the lemon in here I think is a little bit different and the mint is a little bit different too. It's not like that sweet, bright spearmint that you're getting out of the Q Margarita. So certainly if you're thinking, oh, I have a citrus mojito, do I need Q Margarita? Yes, I would say <laughs> you do. Compared to a couple other ones, I think the big one on everyone's mind the traditional, and I only have this old four little four ouncer, um, of Island Margarita from Bath and Body Works. Now I believe this was launched in the Slacken era, so I'm assuming that this was originally a Slacken and Co. at Bath and Body Works scent, though I'm not 100% positive uh, if it was like a signature collection item or was even pre-Slacken era. Not certain, but I'm assuming it may be. Um, the notes on this over the years they've shown many different things. Sometimes it does say kiwi. In fact, kiwi is literally on the label in this. 2012 version, but the notes listed here are simply mandarin, sweet mango, and plum with a freshly salted rim. Now they don't call out lime in here at all, which you would think that like kind of the core margarita um, scent for a mass market producer like Bath & Butterks would have clearly lime, uh, lime in it, but not in the notes. 
and not here. Um, to me, this is not a margarita at all. I, it's very, very sweet. I don't dislike it. Um, I've purchased it a couple of times over the years, once or twice, but it's not something that I buy every year. Again, even in my collection, this is the only one I have of it. I don't have any full three wicks of it. The difference is like this has little to no citrus for me. Um, I don't really get any lime, any of the bright zippy. When you're drinking margarita, you want it to be zippy and a little bit tart and tangy and a little sweet uh, with either some sugar crystals, you know, that salt on the rocks, frozen, whatever. You want it to be an experience. And this really is, it's a nice tropical blend, but it's not a margarita. Borderline, whether it's a drink or not. I mean, plum and mango and mandarin, nice, but and certainly I do think there's probably some kiwi in here. It is a very, there's like a green, I don't know if this sounds crazy. I think some people probably totally uh, connect with me on this and others think I'm nuts, but a lot of times um, fragrance is the just music notes as well. will have either kind of like uh, colors associated with them or temperatures associated with them um, or shapes associated with them when you sniff something um, or like, yeah. So this does smell kind of green. It's nice, it's very sweet. It is, this is where I, where I will like call it, you know, call it out. The kiwi margarita is much more complex, which would be, be expected with the way that Homework Spice Lock & Co is marketed. You expect complexity compared to, you know, what Bath & Body Works has to offer typically. And it is much more complex, a lot more going on in here. Um, oh, so it's bright. This one is like experiential. It's very bright. You've got the sugar, you've got almost a little bit of salt, you've got the sparkling, you've got the, couple of different fruits. You have the melon that, that calms it down a little bit. You have the mint that adds like a little, you know, bright, sweet coolness to it, um, as well as your, your lemon and your kiwi and your lime. This is a bit more, you know, that, if that's 10 notes, this is like three or four and it's okay. I don't hate it. Um, not my favorite, but if you're comparing the two, I would still, again, go with kiwi margarita on that one. Then I have three other scents to compare it to from Bath & Body Works. Two, it's definitely not, and one it's actually kind of closest to. I'll save that for last. Um, the next one, this is from 2014. Um, the notes, this was Lime Granita Margarita. Really enjoyed this. This one is more of a margarita scent than Island of Margarita. This was post Slacken era at Bath & Body Works because it came out in what was called the Pop Tales. It says right there, the Pop Tales collection, uh, which was a drink and sort of frozen like popsicle collection uh, that was launched in early 2015. Notes on this, a refreshing new twist on the classic blah, 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 key limes, sea salt, and crushed ice. So they didn't give us much ice, limes, and salt. I did like the art direction here. It was kind of fun. It had like this little recipe on here. But again, lime juice, salt, agave nectar, um, and that's it. Now this is a little bit more straightforward. You do get lime, it's a little bit more of a cleaner lime. Maybe a little bit of the saltiness, um, but there's not an effervescence, there's not, which usually with this crushed ice, they're gonna throw in something either cooling, like a mint that you're not actually noting there, um, or you're going to get something that is maybe a little bubbly or effervescence or like, you know, poppy. And it's not really any of those. Similar to maybe like a lime ice candle that I talked about in the Harry, um, second to go from the vault hair, bring them back in the summer video, lime ice, which was a lime pop school. It's similar to this, but that one was a little bit more, uh, acidic citric acid kind of, uh, freshness. This is a little bit dull, but I like it overall. Um, but again, n not as complex as this. And again, not that anyone's saying, oh, is it like the pop tales 25 collection, 2015 collection? Probably not. But I still think it's again, interesting to compare to similar, um, scents. Uh, or scents that claim to be similar at least, right? And then the final two to compare, we've got, this is from late 2014. This is a really nice collection, Bath & Body Works. Again, also post um, Slacken um, White Barn Market. This collection had a lot in it. It was kind of that rustic, like hand-drawn chalkboard and it's like even like a rough paper um, uh, label on here. Um, tequila, lime, cupcake notes were freshly squeezed lime, tequila, and delicious cake topped with buttercream. Um, again, that was from late 2014. This, I really, oh, I really like this. This, where I could take or leave the Granita Margarita, the Island Margarita, honestly, maybe even the Homework Citrus Mojito. Um, this one is different enough from a Kiwi Margarita or any Margarita and really, really good that I actually, I would love for this to come back. Where this excels is it's got the lime. Uh, it's not... It's zesty, it's almost more like some lime juice as opposed to like the, the bright like 
oil-based zest of like a lime oil, it leans a tiny bit cleaner, uh, but not a ton um, because there really is that there's a gourmand note in here, like almost like a, a vanilla shortbread. Um, if you think of like the cake that's in Limoncello Cupcake with Homeworks um, or vanilla shortbread, Slack and Co. way back in the day, holiday collections um, uh, in like 2009 or 10, there's a nice shortbread, like a, again, cakey, but more like cookie note with like a, a whipped, almost maybe a meringue kind of note with some a little bit of lime within there, like lime flavored, key lime to make it sweet. Not tequila, um, tequila, it's funny that the one thing that's not actually the beverage is when they put tequila on the label and in the notes, even though it was a gourmand, lime gourmand, or like those lemon drop cookies that are coated in powdered sugar, like the Girl Scouts kind. Really, I do like this a lot. It's nice, it's sweet, it's creamy. Not at all similar to Kiwi Margarita, but figured if anyone knows this, it's different. <laughs> and finally, as I drag this one out, this next candle is the closest uh, in similarity to Kiwi Margarita, but still fairly different. And that is the recent hit from Bath & Body Works Champagne Margarita, AKA Frosted Moscow Mule from a little bit over a year ago. I did an in-depth uh, sniff comparison review on this one. Um, so check that out if you have not. The notes on this, freshly squeezed lime, bubbly champagne, and sugarcane crystals. These are sister scents. Um, the similarities, where they are similar, is that they both are very sweet with the same kind of sweetness. That like limeade, lemonade, almost, this one's a little bit more like a soda, like a Sprite or Sierra Mist, but even like extra syrup added to it to make it extra, extra thick and sweet. This one actually has, the Q Margarita is, shocker, more authentic. Um, the lemon and lime in this are more than just the sweetness of the juice, which is what you get in the Champagne Margarita, is again, drippy, 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 sweet, some effervescence. I really like it. Great strong throw, but it is, comparatively speaking, basic, not in a bad way. Um, I really enjoy the Champagne Margarita. It is sweet, it is strong, it is straightforward, not super complex, um, basic just in the notes and its execution. Compared to the Kiwi Margarita, it's like you're also getting, in addition to some of the lime juice, you're getting the other fruits between the kiwi and the melon uh, and the lemon, which I think they both are both lemon and lime. Um, but it's the juice, the pulp, you're getting some of the zest in there as well. Like this is again, straightforward. Think of it as a soda. Think of it as, you know, limeade with a little bit of bubbles in it. Sweet, delicious, great. But this adds in the creaminess of the melon, kiwi to add just another layer of a sweet fruit, but not overwhelming the really bright lemon, sugared lemon and lime with the juice, the pulp, the zest. Um, and of course you've got the mint, which again adds that a little bit of sweetness because it's a spearmint, but also a, the cooling effect of mint that you expect. Um, just really a lot going on in this one. It's got, and it's almost like a, a bit of a saltiness in there. It's could be my mind deceiving me, but there's, it's again, it's sweet without being just sweet. Whereas this one is sweet and it's primarily straightforward, sweet couple of notes. Um, this one adds a lot more to it. They're both good, they're both different, but I can't imagine anyone who likes one wouldn't like the other, or if didn't if they didn't like one, they wouldn't like the other. I could maybe see someone preferring this one and not loving this one because of the simplicity of Champagne Margarita. Clearly both worth checking out. Um, but if I had to choose, I would choose the Kiwi Margarita. Really, again, just a fan of this overall. Oh, it's just really, it's really good. And I'm not one that normally wants to be transported to the tropics in January, February, but I burned this and it made me happy. It was nice, it's bright. It's just, again, bright, sweet, tangy, warm, cool. It's everything for everyone, whatever you want. Anyway, big fan of that. If you haven't already checked it out, I do recommend it. Um, let me know what you think. If you are familiar with any of these other scents, I'd love to hear what you think of them. If you smelled Champagne Margarita or if you love this or hate this and love or hate the other one, you know, tell me, tell me what you think, agree or disagree. I'd love to hear it. Um, until next time, guys, take care.